pledge uh, allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Um, go on, Gerbert. Um, I forgot what comes next. Is it to your mind? Invisible. I think you better start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I pledge uh, I... allegiance. That's what I meant to say. You know, Gerbert, I think these decorations are coming along nicely. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, sir, I think they look great. Who are you going to be in the parade? I want to be Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln? A very great American. Yep, I like Abe Lincoln. Who you want to be, Mr. Kaiser? Well, I think I'll be George Washington, the first president of the United States. Abe Lincoln was the president, too. I know. He was the 16th president. Yeah. You know, Gerbert, we're really lucky to be able to dress up as famous Americans for our town's patriotic celebration day. And you are very lucky to be leading the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. Maybe I should um, keep practicing. I think that's a good idea. I'll tell you what. You practice the pledge, yeah. and I will pick up our costumes. Well, thanks, Mr. Kaiser. I can't wait to see my Abe Lincoln costume. <laughs> I'll take these things over to Miss Purcell. Maybe she can use them. Okay. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Hi, Mr. Purcell. Hi, Earl. What is that there? Oh, well, Gerbert and I were over decorating the boat, and we had these left over, and I, I thought you might be able to use them. Well, how thoughtful of you. So, you and Gerbert are getting ready for the patriotic celebration, huh? Oh, we sure are. <laughs> I was wondering if, uh, if I could pick up our costumes. Yours and Gerbert? Sure. What American patriot are you going to be this year? Well, Gerbert wants to be Abe Lincoln, and I am going to be George Washington. Hey, you're in luck. George Washington is oh, right here wow. on the front. Isn't it great? Oh, beautiful. But you know, I can't recall seeing an Abe Lincoln anywhere. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No. Doesn't look like Abe Lincoln's in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gerbert's gonna be very disappointed. Well, let's see. How about this? It's just his size and it's Ben Franklin. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Oh, Ben Franklin was a great American patriot. Oh, yeah. Gerbert's going to love this. Where is he, anyway? <laughs> He's practicing the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, that's great. Everybody should know the Pledge of Allegiance. So, what do you think? Oh, that's great, Betsy. <laughs> well, I've got to hurry off now. I just can't wait to see how excited Gerbert's going to be when he finds out he's going to be Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and until the until the Republic for which it stands. Right. Oh boy, you are got him. Wow. How does that look, Gerbert? Great, huh? Oh, you look just like George Washington. We'll probably be the best president in the whole parade. <laughs> uh, Gerbert, how does this costume look? Doesn't it come with a top hat and a big blank beard? No, it doesn't. It's, it's Ben Franklin, and he was a great American, too. But where's Abe Lincoln? Well, Miss Purcell didn't have an Abe Lincoln, but she had this one, Ben Franklin. He was a great American, too. I hope you don't mind. I don't know, Mr. Kaiser. I was really looking forward to being Abe Lincoln. Oh, look, Gerbert. This one comes with glasses, bifocals. Those look fun, but it's still not Abe Lincoln. I'm sorry, Gerbert. I think I know how you feel. When you expect something to happen for a long time, and it doesn't. It's very disappointing. But I'll well, tell you what. Try this on, and we say, oh my goodness, it doesn't have any sleeves. I'll take this back to Miss Purcell, then we'll try it on and see what happens. 
Uh, okay, but it still won't be a Lincoln. Come in, Mr. Kaiser. Hello, Gerbert. Hi, how are you? I wish I had a waistcoat as handsome as this. They were called waistcoats because they're tucked in at the waist. That's pretty clever, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, if it's a wasted coat, why don't we just throw it away, and then we can find an Abe Lincoln costume for me. <laughs> Gerbert, I wish we could find an Abe Lincoln costume in time for the parade, but that's impossible. Oh, there's Abe Lincoln. Do you know, Gerbert, that Abe Lincoln was liked by almost everybody? Well, I can certainly see why you like Abe Lincoln. Yeah, I really do. And I've learned a lot about him at school, too. I don't know anything about Benjamin Franklin, but I sure know about Abe Lincoln. <laughs> did you know he used to live in a log cabin? I did. Yeah, and then he, he used to walk a long, long way to borrow books, like me. Yes. He did that so he could become a lawyer. Yeah. I can be whatever I want to be, too, just like Abe. Yes. If you study hard and read books, you can become anything you want in life. Yeah. Hey, and if I practice speeches, I'll be like, like you know, like the Pledge of Allegiance. I'll be able to give a speech as good as Abe. Like Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Yeah, yeah. I can still be a little like Abe Lincoln. I'll give a great Pledge of Allegiance. I'll still be dressed like Ben Franklin. And I don't know anything about him. Well, we're just going to have to do something about that. Jimmy. Oh, Miss Purcell, you look wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Kaiser. I was wondering if uh, Betsy Ross could sew up a costume as quick as she sewed up the first American flag. Ah! <laughs> and what costume would you want Betsy Ross to sew? Well, actually, uh, Gerbert wasn't as excited about being Ben Franklin as we thought he would be. So I was wondering if there was a chance that you found the Abe Lincoln costume. But Ben Franklin was one of our most interesting Americans. I know, but Gerbert doesn't know that much about him. He's disappointed he can't be Abe Lincoln. Oh, well, I'm sorry we don't have an Abe Lincoln costume for Gerbert, but maybe this will help him learn more about Ben Franklin. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be that much information here. Well. But you have given me an idea. Thank you, Miss Purcell. Mm -hmm. uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Oh, don't let me interrupt you, Gerbert. You were doing just fine. Well, I am getting better at it. Hey, what you got here, Mr. Kaiser? Oh, this? Yeah. This is for you. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what it is. Hmm. This is kind of exciting. It's a book about Ben Franklin. I felt bad when you didn't get to be Abe Lincoln. And I thought you'd feel better about being Ben Franklin if you knew a little bit about him. Well, this is just what Abe Lincoln would have done. Hmm? Oh, 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 you mean read a book for some information. Right. Yeah, this is a great idea. Thanks, Mr. Kaiser. Well, I hope you enjoy it. But uh, don't forget to practice your speech. Oh, what's this? Listen to this. Um, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the re um, to the re Republic. Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, now, now, you will. Once you learn the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, you will never forget it, I promise you. Did you learn the pledge when you were young, a long, long time ago? <laughs> I sure did. Oh, I love saying the Pledge of Allegiance in school. The teacher would have the whole class stand and, and face the flag, which was hung up high so we could all see it. And then I'd place my hand over my heart, just like you did. And I would feel so proud to be an American. 
I think I'll just keep trying until I get it just right. <laughs> and don't forget to read some of the book, too. Right. Mm -hmm. hmm. It says here that Ben Franklin went to the old uh, Yelpia, hmm. the colonial city of brotherly love. The colonial city. Brotherly love. That sounds like a neat place, Rory. Huh. Wouldn't it have been neat if you and I could have been there together? <laughs> I wonder why you like these kinds of glasses. Oh, look here. This is the town square. And this is where Ben Franklin lived. Wow. <laughs> It looks like a storm is rolling in. Yeah. Well, hello, there you are. Looks like you found my notes, all right. Now, as soon as my assistant Rory gets here, we will begin our experiment. Rory! Rory! Oh, there you are, Rory. Come on out here and bring the kite, please. There we go, that'll be good. Here he comes. And now, in a moment, if everything goes right, we will make history by proving that lightning is really electricity. Phew. I can barely make out these fuzzy words, Mr. Franklin. Well, fuzzy words, you say? Why, I wrote those myself. Yeah, I, I, I it look very clear to me. The ideas are wonderful. It's just... I can't really see them clearly. Oh, hey, well, here, take these. I think these will help quite a bit. It's just a little experiment I've been playing with. I call them bifocals. Yeah, my bifocals have helped me see much better, and I'm certain they'll help your eyesight, too. This is outstanding. Mr. Franklin, you're a genius. Oh, now you can read my instruction for me. Okay. First, make a kite. First, make a kite. Right. That's what we did. Right. Sure. Tie the string to the kite. Tie the string to the kite, which I have done. Yep. Then, attach a wire to the top of the kite. Attach a wire to the top of the kite. Right. We did that. Then, tie a key to the bottom of the string. Tie a key. To the bottom of the string. Yep. Right, right, right. Then fly the kite. <laughs> then fly the kite. <laughs> wow, good shot, Rory old buddy. Got a cool wing there. Okay. Now all we need to do is wait for lightning. <gasps> wait for lightning? Well, I tell you what, why don't you and I wait right over here while Rory wrestles with the lightning bolt? Why, we just proved that lightning is really electricity. <laughs> oh, you're so brilliant, Mr. Franklin. <laughs> and that was just one of Ben Franklin's many inventions and um, science scientific discoveries. <laughs> wow, Rory. Ben Franklin really was a great American. He invented so many things, too. Like these bifocals I'm wearing, and um, the Franklin stove, and poor Richard's almanac. <laughs> the book even said that he was our first postmaster general. <laughs> That's why sometimes you'll see his picture on a stamp. What a great man. I think I'm going to love being Ben Franklin after all. Hey, but Ben Franklin, he would say the Pledge of Allegiance absolutely perfectly. Looks like we got some more practicing to do. <laughs> I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Nick
a wonderful Ben Franklin, Gilbert. I'm glad you decided to wear the costume. Me too, Miss Purcell. Ben Franklin invented a lot of wonderful things. I'm proud to be Ben Franklin. Oh, there's the parade marshal. And they're beginning to raise the flag. Are you ready yet, Gilbert? And now, good citizens of Shelton Falls, Gerbert will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My country is of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Land where my father's died, land of the pilgrims' pride, from every mountain side. Thank you for spending part of your day with me, friend. I always like being with you. I think you're so neato. Well, oh, before we go. Oh, 